Drafts is a Swiss army knife of text, and anybody that works on iOS would benefit from having it on their device. What I love about Drafts is it isn't defined. It doesn't have a defined purpose. It has so many different options and features you can use it for anything. It could be as simple as just a note-taking application, a long-form markdown text editor, a scripting or coding app, or even for automation with other applications. So since Drafts 5 just came out, I wanted to take some time and cover a bunch of cool things you can do with the application. Let's start with the basics. Drafts is an excellent text editor. It has full markdown support. A lot of apps have markdown support, but it's usually some modified version of markdown. But Draft supports normal native markdown, so you don't get any curveballs thrown at you. The tagging game is strong with Drafts. Just tap the tag button and type whatever you want. I like to keep it as basic as possible. I have categories like automation, video, coding, and miscellaneous. If you use tags from the beginning, you'll thank yourself later when you have a huge library of notes. It really does make things easier to find. If I'm working on a document over a long period of time, I will use flags so it's easier to recall. When you flag something, it'll be placed under the flagged category. I recommend keeping this as small as possible or it can get out of hand really quickly if you start flagging every single note. One feature I haven't seen before in any other app, but Drafts has it, is the ability to rearrange text. Drafts looks at how your document is broken up and you can rearrange each part. This was something I never knew I needed, but now that I have it, I can't live without it. You can also do this line by line as well. As the iPad matured, one of the features we got were keyboard shortcuts. And I'm very happy to see how it's been implemented across different iOS apps, and Drafts is no exception. Drafts has a lot of great shortcuts to move around the app fast and edit text quicker. There are also custom keyboard shortcuts, but more on that later. The way Drafts looks is incredible, and it's incredibly customizable as well. You can change the default font and monospace font. I'm using SF Mono as my default font, and Menelo for my monospace font. You can easily change the size of the font as well. You can also choose between different icons on Drafts 5 as well. And of course there's dark mode as well, with an option to automatically switch between light and dark based on the brightness of the screen. There are a bunch of grammatical options in the app as well. The action list is where Drafts really starts to set itself apart. Here you could trigger all sorts of different actions to happen. Since I use both a task manager and a calendar that supports natural language, I can type out a sentence, hit the action, and then it'll send it to the proper app. This way I can add things quickly. You can also create social media posts for accounts like Twitter, micro.blog, and more. I know journaling is really popular, and you can create a note each day, then use the append to iCloud journal or even Dropbox, and this will automatically make a new journal note and save it to either iCloud or Dropbox. One of my favorite features is the save file as action. This will export your current note as a text document, let you name it, and then use the files app to choose where you want to save it. So you can save it to Dropbox, iCloud, or even locally on your iPad if you like. And there are so many more options in here for you to play with. If you want to take it a step further, you can build your own custom actions right into Drafts. If you're interested in building custom actions, I recommend starting with Drafts Online Dictionary. Here you can see what apps plug into Drafts and the URLs you'll need to build something with them. So I've been wanting to do more automation in these videos, and Drafts is really great with automation. You can create an action that actually runs workflows. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're gonna name the action. This action is going to be taking a markdown text and turning it into PDF. So let's just call it that. Next, select a keyboard shortcut to run this. I'm just gonna use Command J this time. Let's select our steps. Remember, you can select more than one step if you wanna chain stuff together. For right now, let's just select workflow. Next, we enter the exact name of the workflow. The workflow that I'll be using, like I already said, takes markdown text and turns it into a PDF. It's pretty simple to make. Hit save and exit when done. Now let's hit command J and see what happens. If you don't feel comfortable building your own actions, Drafts has an amazing online dictionary that has just about anything you can think of. Honestly, I don't even build most of my own actions. We just scratched the surface of what Drafts is capable of in this video. If you guys would like to hear more, I'd love to go into more detail if that's something you're interested in, so let me know in the comments below. And if you're already using Drafts, how do you use Drafts? Is there some sort of crazy action or crazy workflow that you use with Drafts? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.